Hi y'all, welcome to Maddie's Kitchen. Today I'll be cooking some old-fashioned fried chicken, pan style, instead of deep fat frying. I want to make chicken like my mother used to make it, so it can taste like chicken. I, sometimes I go to places and buy chicken, I taste everything. When you eat the skin, in the middle is nothing. The skin's seasoned, but the insides is not seasoned. That's what I'm going to try to do that today. What I'll be using for my ingredients are, I'll be using flour, separating flour. Try not to use plain, because when you're using plain, it don't season that good. You have to put uh, salt and baking powder in there, so just use separating. Try to use separating. And of course, I'll be using chicken, I'm, and I like dark meat. I'll be using three thighs, I'm sorry, three legs and two thighs. And I'll have pepper, salt, pepper record, hot sauce, and Crisco. Okay, y'all, I'm gonna start with my um, pepper. I'm gonna put some pepper on here. I'm gonna season it really good with pepper. Well, that's coming out kind of fast, but that's okay. I can, I can uh, match it in a little bit fast. So I'm gonna pepper. You don't take, have to have that much in here. When you're doing that, you don't have to have that much. Really, you don't. And I'm gonna start with some salt. Make sure you season it really good. You have to season it. You're gonna season your uh, flour like I did my pork chop the same way. Rub this in. So I'm gonna put some pepper record, just a little pepper record. And this is like old fashioned chicken, and you don't need all that stuff on there. Pepper record's seasoned pretty good. Yeah, I like the way it's seasoned. I don't like garlic on my chicken. I don't never put garlic on my chicken because sometimes it changes the uh, t uh, the flavor. You know, you're eating chicken, you got a lot of hot sauce on it because, you know, hot sauce is not bad for chicken. It's good. A lot of people use it, and I start using it too. And it does do something for your chicken, so it don't matter how much you put on there. So I'm going to rub this in good, y'all, like I did the other one. All that noise. See, I'm gonna put this in there. And that's all you need. You know, try this and see how it tastes. I'm gonna turn this over. And I'm gonna let this set probably about 15 minutes so it can go in. Some people put, sometimes I put buttermilk in mine, but I don't really like buttermilk in my chicken. Make it too soft or something. It does something to it for fried chicken. Like I said, this is pan fried. It don't matter how you start the ingredients. You know how, have you ever been in chicken and uh, you buy it in chicken, and then when you after you eat the skin, you don't want no more because it's not seasoned all the way through. And how you season all the way through, you have to cook a food real slow, not fast. See, that, see like when you put in a deep fat fry, that's cooking very fast. So that's everything in there. Put some pepper on here. And the hot sauce season too got a little salt in it, so you don't have to put that much salt in there. But the other uh, stuff, put it in there, especially your hot sauce, because that's going to give it a good taste. And that's all you need. You don't need everything all cornflakes. I see some people put cornflakes so it can be real crunchy. Put some hot sauce, a little hot sauce in here. And I'm going to mash this down. I'm going to let it set for about 15 minutes. I'm going to put it in the refrigerator for about 15 minutes. Like, that's not too much. Seem like it is, but it's not. The hot sauce really do the trick. So that season, y'all. Put a little bit more salt in it, just a little bit. I don't think I add that much salt. Okay. I'm gonna set this aside, and I'm gonna season my flour. Okay, y'all. I'm getting ready to season my chicken. My oil is getting warm, hot. And I'm gonna put some pepper. All you gotta do is put a little pepper in it. Cause you want, see this is right here gonna go with the meat. You're gonna go inside the meat. Put some pepper in there. See how much pepper I put in there? And you can put some pepper record. Like I said. And when you're cooking chicken, and if you want chicken to really taste good, cook it slow. Don't cook it too fast like in a deep fat fry. Cause it's just cooking the skin. You want your chicken to season all the way to the bones. So I'm gonna stir this up good. Put a 
putting a little bit more pepper in there. Making a mess, y'all. I told y'all about the mess, how you bring your skillet over. That's okay. That's easy to wipe off flour. So I got pepper, salt, and pepperica in here. And the chicken is seasoned with salt, pepper, pepperica, and hot sauce. So I'm going to take this right here, and I'll get back with you. Okay, y'all, let the chicken stay in there for about uh, 15, 20 minutes. And now my grease, I cut my grease down low. I had it high because you don't, like I said, you don't want it uh, too high because you want the chicken to start frying and you slowly cut your heat up. So I'm going to put this chicken in here. This is a thigh. Season it really good. And I always dump the, the flour off of it. Just dump it off real good. Dust your chicken when you get through uh, putting it on there. Dust it good. See, dust it really good. And like I said, bring this so you won't mess up your stove. See if that's hot enough. I cut this up a little bit because that's kind of, it's not hot. I want it. Okay. And put the other thigh in there. Mash it down with you. See how you have your season in there? Now, this is some good seasoning, too. It's hot sauce, pepper, ricka, salt, and pepper. That's all you need. Put this in here. Make sure you uh, put it in there. Cover it really good. So you can have crust, but you sure won't crust on your chicken. You don't want to eat it. Listen, you're baking it. And then if you're baking, you're going to bake it with butter. So let's begin to fry slow. So I'm gonna put this one in here. I'm gonna put the legs. Same thing. Make sure you, when you're doing it, cut it up. This is just some pan fried chicken that I like better than I do deep fat fry. Put it in here. Put that the legs. Now, I had promised y'all I was going to cook some chicken, so I finally got to it. It took me a little long time. And next, I'm going to make some uh, chicken and dumpling for my older crew. I know they like that because we were raised up on chicken and dumpling. Chicken and flour, that's what I call it. And biscuits. Put this one in here. Shake it off really good, y'all, because you don't want all that flour in there. See how I'm putting this on there? Stir it up in there. So it there. And get in there all through the chicken. And that's all to it. I'm gonna, once it starts frying, I'm going to show you how I cover it. I turn it over so all that season, right now it's cooking slow, and all that season is going to the bone, cooking it slow, so it can taste like chicken. Some people don't even like chicken no more because they said chicken don't taste like it used to. So, take this up like the shaky pan like that and let it cook slowly. Okay, I'll get back with you when it fry a little bit. See how that chicken fry, y'all? You want your chicken just to fry like this, not fast and slow. So when, in a few minutes, I'm going to turn it over. At least two times. When you're cooking chicken, pan fried chicken, turn it over twice. You can turn it over and let it brown, get it light brown, and then you're going to turn it over like this. Let me see if the one ready. Okay, let me see if this one's ready. No, I like to it's not be working good. And I don't want to mess it up. I'm going to say that look. See, let that fry. I'm going to let that fry just a little bit more. And then I'm going to turn it over. See, fry it slow. See how slow? That's going to be some good chicken because it's seasoning. The slowness is carrying the flavor all the way to the bone. And not, and not just the skin. Okay, I'll get back with you in two minutes. It's not fried good enough like I want it to. Let's see if I can turn this around. I wanna see if I can turn this over. Okay, that's okay. See, that's all right. Turn it over again. This is gonna be kind of like, you know, I remember Kentucky Fried Chicken was? Kind of like that. Not exactly, because I didn't use their recipe. I use only mine. So I'm gonna turn this over. So you like to be careful, because you don't want to mess up your crisp, your crispness. <laughs> you want to say crispy. Turn it over though. Let it fry. You'll let it fry a little longer this time on this side. Okay, but keep turning so you can have soft chicken. Like, you know how Kentucky Fried Chicken used to be? When you cook it slow, you get that effect. 
Okay, I'll get back with you all in about five minutes. Okay, y'all, it's cooking all the way through and I turned it over one time. I'm gonna let this, I'm gonna turn this over right here again. So this is the first time I turned it over. See, let that cook, see, I see that, how that looks. It looks better when you pan fry it to me and it tastes better. Turn it over. It's soft. And you can enjoy chicken when it's soft and, you know, like this versus being real crispy. So it's looking. I'm going to turn this over again. Side looking, it's coming. I got to fry this side and this right here. And it's coming. Pan fried chicken sometimes don't look as good as deep fat fry, but it tastes so much better because it's cooking slow. And I'm letting the season just go all the way through it. And it tastes a lot better than deep fat fried to me. This is like old fashioned chicken. When we're, when we're coming up, my mother never deep fat fried chicken because she didn't have that much oil to do. So I always, uh, I, I do the, I cook just like my mother do. I pan fry all my chicken like this right here. Cook it and it be good. I let it get crisp too. It's going to get crisp. And then when it wants to get my uh, crisp, crispy enough, then I, I'm finished with it. Cause it's already cooking, like you see blood, chicken have blood in it. And that's why you should cook it slowly so you can cook all the bones. You can cook the uh, the meat and the bone and the skin, all of it will be done. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna turn this over one more time and let this fry right here. Okay, y'all, here's the results. It, and it is soft, it's very tender and soft. You know, you can eat it all. And I like, I like my chicken to be tender not real crispy, soft like Kentucky Fried Chicken. You know, everybody loves their chicken once upon a time. And this is how this is. It's really soft. It's not, you know, really, it's crisp, but it's, it's crisp and tender too. So please, I want you all to tune into my other videos and make sure you share. Hit that notification bell. And pass it on to a friend for some good fried chicken. This is good for the older people. Who have a problem, you know, uh, don't like that real tough chicken. This is soft and like I said, cook it very slow. Turn it over twice and you'll have some good chicken. Thank you for tuning in to Maddie's Kitchen.